Hello everybody, and welcome to my first episode of XCOM Enemy Within. So basically this is gonna be the same deal as uh, with Slime Rancher and Darkest Dungeon. Uh, this is gonna be a five part series going through the entire week and there's actually a special reason for this one too. Because if you remember I, I covered Slime Rancher because it was a new game, it was, it's an indie game in Early Access that looked really cool. Darkest Dungeon was out of Early Access and has entered full release date and uh, the reason why I want to play XCOM Enemy Within right now is because next week, at the, actually um, on the day where the final episode of this airs on YouTube, uh, XCOM 2 is gonna be out, and I might actually make a series about that as well. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, normal, classic. I'll, I'll be perfectly, I'll be perfectly um, honest with you guys. I've never played above easy because I just wanted to experience the game. But we're gonna stay on normal difficulty for now. Um, we are actually gonna, we're gonna. Learn about the mysterious new, new mysterious resource, new oh, alright, okay. What is progeny? Um, Iron Man, play with a single save, it is updated automatically as it progress through the game, and an Iron game, you... Oh yeah, 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 that's... You cannot reload earlier, yeah, let's do that, because this is a one-time thing anyway. Uh, reduce beginner VO, this option will turn off voiceover aim primarily at new players, enable if you don't want Dr. Valen to, for example, warn you about trade-off and using explosives to kill aliens. Um, let's keep that in. We're gonna look at the tutorial too. All right. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. Mysterious things falling from the sky will make the people of Earth die. Don't touch it. You cannot run. You cannot hide, for the enemy lurks inside. I don't know why I'm rhyming, but I kinda like it. Alright, all of these people are covered in green goop. It may or may not be dead. Vigido Confido. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. Oh, what subtitles are tiny? Our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, sir. XCOM. Enemy within. So, um... This game originally launched as XCOM Enemy Unknown. All right, I think I've got to explain that was the what last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo Three One. You are being deployed to Germany at 1900 hours Zulu. Eh, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. K two hundred LRR. Shortly after impact, MIA. German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. 
Then things went, went dark. dark. At 2100 hours. Alright, let's just launch into it. We don't have to listen to this. This is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3 1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. This game looks pretty. A bit old and dated, but pretty. Show slight, very, very, very slight signs of age. All right, yep, professional soldiers, professional soldiers coming out of the plane. Central, you getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first, let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. All right. So this is the movement tutorial. Yep. Yep. Shows you. You have to go right back. Uh, a soldier can move up to two times per turn. The number of remaining moves is indicated on the soldier's unit flag. Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Yep. Delta two. Your turn. Move up to the debris. So, um, he's taking cover behind a police car here. Um, Germany doesn't have green police cars anymore. We've changed our police cars to be, I think, blue. That I think it's, yeah, I think it's white and blue now. better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Yeah, this is basically Delta explaining three. how you move, move and how ahead. cover works. Yep, over there. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. All right. Delta Four, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. All right, dash. Holy hell! What do you see, Delta Four? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. That is German Dr. for Ballard. help. What's he saying? He is saying, help me. No, he just says help. Is coming from somewhere north of the it's not help me, it's just help. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Help me would Delta. be help me. Advance and infiltrate that building. And remember... Stay in the soldier may cover long distances by dashing. This will consume both moves and end the soldier's turn. Alright. Yeah, alright, I can see him. Yes, thank you. Uh, so, what I was going to say earlier this game originally launched as uh, Enemy Unknown. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Ooh. Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Alright, so um, before I keep going, because it's just going to trigger more cutscenes. Um, the game was originally launched as Enemy Unknown, and then they uh, developed the Enemy Within expansion pack, which just adds a bunch of really cool stuff like extra enemies and uh, extra units. And it's really amazing, it's to just on top of the, of the old game. I got no idea what this thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Ah, okay, yes, I love the action cam in this. Get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Just break through the window. Delta Two, 
That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. The AI is actually really smart when it comes to finding uh, finding a path. Okay, that guy's from. Central. We have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy Delta Three. Okay, everyone, get into position nearby, but do not approach. Yes, Central, sir. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. <clears throat> Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello, können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. Why does she have such a terrible accident? Keep your eyes open, people. I think I she's like supposed to be German, but her accent is like fucking hell. She can't even speak German correctly. Right? Delta three. Move in and disarm him. Carefully. Those are explosive batteries, aren't they? And pop goes the weasel. My God. What the hell is you going on? Delta three is down. Delta three is down. Oh no. Kutznetsov is dead. He's down. Delta one is down. Shit. Central, we're taking fire for multiple x-rays. This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. All right, uh, just a second. I just want to edit my options a little bit. I just want to... Uh, 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 uh. Just a slight tick. Just a very slight tick. Damn it. Delta 2, your flank too. Find some better cover. Really? All right, Delta 2. Weapons now I've got the other alien in my back. Fire. Press enter to activate the tactical combat UI or on the action you wish to perform. Oh, alright. Fire. Okay. Nice shot. Delta 4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Throw a grenade! Frag out! Now get ready for their counterattack. Look out, Delta Four! Get There's ready for the counterattack! Damn it. It's just you now, Delta Two. No, Let's Yamaguchi! Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. Oh, yeah, right. Camera rotation. I forget, but I it. always forget that. That's clear shot from that position. Fire. Fire the beach. Critical hit. Central. I think that's it. It's over. All right, he's the only survivor. Roger that, that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Bum bum bum! Our first look at the alien scourge. This is not a cutscene. This is a loading screen, and we're back. All right, now I have to uh, give myself a base location. Continent bonus future. Oh, okay. Uh, so um, you have to you have to choose a location for your first base. You actually get more bases later on, I think. And at the, at the beginning you can choose between North America and Europe and depending on the location you get a bonus. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% le less purchase, build and maintain. 
Uh, laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. This is a really good one, actually. So I'll go with we are Europe. coming home. And I actually think that the part of Europe that was like highlighted was Germany. So we had a really what short flight. Home. Are they? Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, Doctor. Doctor. She's clearly supposed to have a German accent, but she can't speak German. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project well, not is not without twofold. sounding like an American who's forcefully trying to speak German. Operations. And keeping you briefed on the current situation. Uh -huh, uh -huh. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. All right, yeah, let, let's do that. Let's just get rid of the, uh, all of the tutorial stuff while we're here. So this is your base. You've got, to the barracks. you've got different rooms. You can build other rooms. Commander, the, barracks, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. Yep. Few soldiers. Uh, here. He's a heavy. Sergeant Santiago Pina. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Uh, the promotion icon next to abilities lets you know that there are eligible for promotion. Select abilities to promote. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This okay. particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. All right. Uh, new training, training fire this rocket. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. All right. Awesome. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Oh, all right. Sorry. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Where's the research? Oh, research lab is right there. Hello, Dr. Valen. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Uh -huh. Based on our preliminary yes. findings, yes. we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for Most our definitely. soldiers. Mm -hmm. With your mm -hmm. approval, we will begin research immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Sounds fun. All right, so uh, weapon fragments. Choose research. Um, alien materials or weapon fragments. Both of those. These weapons are all that remain of a powerful uh, further study could lead to advances in our own weapons and tech. Uh, the aliens are appear to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen. Cousin Ariam examination has given us ideas for ways to improve a soldier's current body armor. Um, you pretty much want to finish both of these as fast as possible because they're gonna make your soldiers more survivable. And I think I'm just gonna go with the weapons for now. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Yeah, it takes eight days. Commander to mission control. Commander to It mission sounds control. like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Yes. Commander to mission yes. control. All right. Commander to mission control. That's mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Hmm. All right, alien abductions reported, view abduction sites. All right, so we've got the, uh, we've got the United States. They will give us four scientists, and there's Beijing. They will give us money. This is supposed to be money, I guess. Um, 
I don't know, scientists are really great to have. Having more scientists makes you, uh, gives you faster, um, faster research, basically. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the states on this one. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. All right. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. All right. Um, I actually want to customize this guy. First name. Shit. Ah. Stupid. All right. He's Spanish enough. I I don't actually know what flag that is. Could be. Um, can I just remove that entirely? Yes, you can. Uh, his language is Spanish. And I've got to change the race, all the head, skin color. There's actually a lot of stuff you can you can change to these. Armor tint. And actually, most of these customization options are uh, part of the of the DLC stuff. So anyway, this is gonna be Shika. He's gonna be our uh, heavy. Shika is a friend of mine. Hi, Shika. Hope you hope you're not going to die. Ah, oh, god damn it! No, you didn't save. Shika Pena, Pina. Um, I really just want the last name completely gone. Nope, you cannot, you cannot remove the name. The last name. Uh, confirm. We're, go we're just gonna do this. So. Right, shika shika. <laughs> Fun. Um. RK, moral, uh, RK stands for recruit, I guess. Uh, customize. Uh, she's just a rookie. I'm... I'm actually not sure how... I, I don't remember how the promotion system worked. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait renaming these people until, I, uh, until they have chosen their next professions. Because I want to name this one uh, Tikara, but only if she becomes a medic. Anyway, that's gonna be it for episode one. And until next time, I say goodbye. Bye-bye.